Stupid. Huh? Hey, yo, McGarrett. Better luck next time, man. Peace out, brother. You dropped that rock somewhere inside. Most likely. Anyway, thanks for backup, guys. Backup? We chased them into you. What are you guys working down here? On site. What else? Yeah, you get, get a load of this, will you? About two years ago, the toy makers started painting the barrels of these things on them. See? So a cop could tell if the kid was carrying a toy. And the bad guys started painting the real guns orange to fool the cops, and then the kids started painting over the orange, and uh, they wanted the real thing. I don't know. Go figure. It's crazy. Yeah. After 22 years, I stopped trying to figure. 22 years. You must be ready to leave. Are you kidding me? This guy? The brass has been trying to get him to leave for God knows how long. As a matter of fact, I have a theory that you killed the last hitman they sent out. Yeah, mm. right between the eyes. No, I'm, I'm ready. I'm going to. I can still do the job I did when I was young, but uh, the oh, worst change, you know? No. When I started in housing, they used to call us grass cops. Keeping people off the lawns, that was the job. Brand new, federally funded Kentucky bluegrass lawns. My, they were nice. I remember. You grew up in the houses? We both did. You know. You know, I, I was talking to this guy I know does maintenance up there, putting down new roofs. It's like archaeology, Danny, he tells me. You know, at the bottom, they got tar from the 60s. Roach clips, hash pipes, afro picks. <laughs> then the 70s, junky needles, works. Then Coke spoons, and now the Reagan era. Crack vials and nine millimeter shells. Ain't exactly the march of civilization. No, they don't need grass cops anymore. Nobody comes out on the grass. They make too good a target. Later. Yeah. And Mr. Franklin, I see you've been employed with the Westchester Coach Works for three months. And before that, there is quite a gap in your employment record here from... I was in prison. Oh, I see. Look, it was something stupid I did when I was younger. Look, ma'am, I really, really need this car, okay? So I don't miss days at work. That shouldn't be a problem, should it? Everybody should get a second chance. All the doors shouldn't close on a young man because he made a bad choice once. He's at 25, living in that place. He's got a lot of choices left to make. Who's he gonna be? Who's he gonna be with? What's he gonna do when they call his name? Yo, Prince. <laughs> Mr. Justice Butler, what's happening, man? You violate an unwritten rule, little brother. Oh, yeah, what's that? It's me that's supposed to have the freshest import in the hood and the finest lady. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, check it out. <laughs> Made of money. All right, now. What's up, bro? Who the hell was that? Oh, uh, that's Justice, one of my brother's friends. Stay away from your brother's friends. They're not in the trouble. Well, what am I going to do, baby? The man pulls up on the street and calls out my name? No, he did not call your name. He called somebody else. All right. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Cover up that scrawny body. She's waiting for us right outside. Well, you finally got some play, huh? All right, who is this mystery woman? Well, you just wait. Just wait till you see her. <laughs> she better be fine. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh. oh, I see. This is your ride. All mine! <laughs> Boarding passes out as you approach the gate, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Come on. Woo! Oh, man. Kill this thing. You know how much I wanted one of these when yeah, I was a kid? Do you have any idea? This is great. It's a nice <laughs> machine, man. Very nice. And I Very just nice. walk in, yeah. buy it. You drive it away. You walk in and you buy it. Doesn't that make you feel like an adult, man? Oh, hell no. I'm 16 again. Ooh, so where are we going, man? Back to those old streets. Show them a neighborhood island boy can do good, you know. That will show us westbound. Officer Dave in pursuit of his lost youth. Ooh, man. 
Hey. Hey, young Carl. Hey, man. Hey, man, what you doing around my wheel? Say, man, it's just me. Just old razor from the block, you know. Talk that polish it up a little bit, make a dollar. What you say? Yeah. Bad man. Can I buy with Tyson knock out a photo? Something wrong with your new wheel. Nah, man. Come on, Prince, take a ride around with me. She uh, and T. Size King. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> That's some heavy time you doing, man. I always did like your brother. <laughs> King and me was tight. Like family. And now here come the prince. <laughs> I gotta stop by one of my businesses. You wanna ride along? You gotta get back to your job. All right. Let's. Here's Raheem, solution. Raheem. Yep. Yeah. I don't know, man. You doing family business here? 25 grand a day business, my brother. And that's just from one spot. 25,000? And for what? Selling this dish to folks that's gonna kill themselves anyway. <laughs> so, instead of some natty, Red Lock Island mango picker making the money is me and Raheem. Maybe even you. Nah. Not me, man. Hate all these this stuff fools stacking around. Porn. Messing up the hood. You don't hear many more than me, my brother. It's just a business. Just a business. Everybody say that, just the business. Slave traders say that. Oh, I forgot you got that high-paying job, don't you, my brother? What do you do, flip burgers for the clown? No, man, I don't do nothing. Got laid off today. That's the drift, man. Let me give you a little something to get you back. No, no thanks, man. It's there if you need it, Prince. It's there. Over. <laughs> I will be right back. Hey, Pop, you better turn this down. You're going to burn up all this food in here. Well, you know how your mother likes things real hot. You, you like it hot. Reminds you of your firefighting days. You feel all that steam on your face. You bring back memories. I guess you're right. I do. Raymond has such a nice girl. Oh, yeah, Stephanie's great. But I never see you with a girl. Do you like girls, Robert? Hey, I like girls just fine. <laughs> I love coming to your family gathering. But when I have a date, I like something a little more romantic and have a few more romantic places to go in New York City. You'll forgive me for saying so. I'm always with a different girl, Raymond tells me. <laughs> I think you're kind of a playboy, eh? Well, Mrs. W, you're going to call me names. You should call me names I don't like. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> 
my man. What's up? Make sure you meet Rap. Yeah. Thank you, this foreign nation. She talking about lady Wanda, man. Anything goes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <clears throat> so anyway, man, you own this place? For the night. Bought it out. A little party with my friends. Uh, speaking of which, uh, you said you're making it wrong. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I know, Prince, but check it out. If I loan you, man, you got to pay me back. And if you don't, well, like I said, man, I'd rather have you as one of my partners than one of these chumps I got to squeeze. So like, what would I be doing? Mechanical stuff. Cars, joints, rents, like an office man. Three grand a week. Plus you take a spot once a month. Take a spot? You get to take from a spot one day. 20, 30 grand just for you. And no french fry grease in your hair, neither. <laughs> <laughs> he was always good with numbers and machines, Prince. King said so. I got muscle. I need a man with skills. Yo, that's my man. Yo. Raheem, how did Trump get in here? Justin! Man, I got this for you! Fully proof. New stuff. Real light, real thin, see? Get him the hell out of here. Yo, hold on. Yo, Prince, you want it, man? Hey, no, wait, wait, you said just be mechanical stuff, that's yeah, all. Yeah, that's right. There's a lot of crazy brothers out there that smoke you for no beef at all. Man, that thing's so thin it wouldn't stop your mama's kiss. Get the hell out of here. No, Get man. Get him out of here. Man. Get your hands off me. It worked. Maybe I should just check it out. You think it's strong enough to stop this, pipehead? No, man, please. Please, man. Wouldn't get my man Prince no garage sale, best man. No, Justin. Please, man. Don't shoot me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Quality control. It's very important. It's just garbage a half dozen rocks and get him out of here. It's like it was tailor-made. <laughs> but no jobs. Oh. Not even in Atlantic City. It's pretty tight all over, babe. Well, except for one loose slot machine owned by Mr. Trump. Hey, come on, enjoy it, all right? Daddy's home. Don't let anybody sell you the idea that running a crack gang is some great feat of business skill. It's not a business and it don't take any real brains. You need a little money, you need somebody who knows the recipe, you need a rock for a heart, that's all. Anybody could do it, and that's the problem. Everybody tries. Justice Butler and his crack gang had one problem in particular. A trigger-happy Jamaican named Supreme, but hey, you've seen enough movies, you watched enough TV. You know the solution to this problem. All you gotta do is cross a few state lines in a generally southern direction. We do know that converts to automatic. Yeah, we got people that do that already. Good, then we won't have to do it. The bigger y'all get, the more we sell. Good for everybody. <laughs> Thank you.
Supreme boys be running like rabbits, man. Hollering, dreadlocks flying. Excellent! That's what it's all about, Squire. We can't be letting nobody diss the organization, you know what I mean? No matter if you shoot a dozen rounds or you steal a dozen vows, you gotta pay. You know what I mean? You steal from justice. Justice come for you. Yo, yo, Raheem, man. It was only 10 rocks. I'm good for it. I'll pay it back, man. You know me? You brought me into the show. That's why it's me that takes you out. You takes me out? Listen to you, man. Well, that Kofi, the jury, you talk about us being brothers. You gonna kill me for 50 bucks? Don't it mean nothing to you, man? Don't it mean nothing? Who says the streets are reality? They call the cops five old. They call detectives me, Gary. A fresh batch of crackers call an episode. Except one of these episodes has a happy ending. That's my son, Mikey Harris. He's, uh, he's been gone almost two days now. And how old is he, ma'am? He's 12. Okay, well, we're gonna do our best to find him, all right? You met the kid over on Blackwell? Yeah, that's the one. Some fresh sneakers, Mikey. Where you get them? I bought them in the store, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. You doing drugs, little brother? Hey, come on, man. I ain't gonna grow up to be no crackhead. Oh, that's good. So what you gonna grow up to be? I'm gonna be somebody with something, you know what I'm saying? Strap for justice, big time, kid. Big time, yeah. yeah. Sound maybe like hard time, like Attica time. I ain't going to no Attica, man. I'm only 12. Yeah, what's 12 plus 6? Come on, little brother, you better than this. You see that? Kissing and hugging him like he's some baby or something. Yeah. When I think of what my old man had done, if I stayed out two nights in a row, at that age, <laughs> my father would have been upside my head, man. Your mom's a piece of work, too. Why you gotta talk about my mom, man? I love your mom. You better love my mother. She won't rest until I got a dozen kids all calling me daddy. You plan in a small family? Look, look, look. <sighs> you still where you want this one or you want that one? I'll take that one. Yeah, that man Prince. Just what you ordered. Two plain Janes, both registered in my name. Somebody call you, boy. 62,000? That dish roster ripped us off for 60 big? What's that? Supreme just ambushed us for one to run. The Linwood spot? A whole weekend plus a dishload of products right right out of the car? I want Supreme in the ground. I want his brains in a sack around my neck. Supreme get his hair done Saturdays at that place over on Capacity. Dude, would imagine. His sister owns it. Take him out, Raheem. You and two. Prince, set him up. Whatever he needs. One clean car. Yeah, yeah, I got him today. Molotov cocktails and a couple of wannabes to throw. Living on that.
took them all down, had to. How many? I don't know, four or five inside and those punks on the street. You killed the wannabes? What the hell for? They messed up. Seven bodies. Seven bodies and none of them the one you were sent to take out. You got the message. What? Supreme got the message. We got one more string to tie. What's that? This truck driver saw the car close up. Must have seen a license, too. Beach out the cops, Move man. Brain. You already told the cops. Right, I got it covered. Bought the cars from the middleman. What if the middleman told He won't. That's your area, Prince. You make sure. Raheem, help him out. Say no deaths attributable to the fire. They were all shot multiple times. You want to lay it out? No, you go ahead. You got something for me to tell you, brother? Oh, Prince, man. This ain't necessary. Come on, Prince, man. We go back. I knew your daddy. Prince. There's two basic rules of survival in this job. First, you gotta learn to take small bites. Too much disgust and pain at one time turns to poison in your gut. 
And second, you learn to keep it to yourself. Nobody wants to hear about it. Maybe a partner or maybe a wife you could tell. But a wife could leave you. And a partner, he's got his own belly full. So I admit, on the beauty parlor case, I broke both rules. I took too big a bite, and I couldn't keep it down. Ray mainly spoke to him. Yeah, he was talking some craziness about making it big, selling crack. Did he mention any names? Oh, he said something about some dude uh, being strapped for justice. Justice? What, what is that? What is that, some stupid street name? Yeah, maybe so. Did you inform the kid's mother that uh, her son was part of a hit team? I didn't think it was an appropriate time, but I guess you can go ahead and do that. Believe it. And the body we found in the playground, was he connected to? Getaway car was registered to him. Covering their tracks. Thanks, uh, but we already thought about that. Come on, Vic. Hey, hey, yo, yo, what's your problem, man? What's my problem? What is your problem, man? I'm gonna tell you what my problem is. I am sick and tired of being a lousy zookeeper around here. And I'll tell you something else. The people that did this shooting, they're animals. No, no, they're less than animals. Because nothing like this ever happened around here before. I had a great uncle. He was a cousin Nostra, a made guy. Spent his whole life not three blocks away from this uh, beauty magic location. Did four, did four times on the mattresses and nothing, I mean nothing like this ever happened. In those days a guy wanted to get popped, bing, he got popped. Not his whole family, not his hairdresser or her brother-in-law. In those days people cared about people. People were like family. Oh, cause Don Corleone was cool, huh? It made killing okay. Let me tell you something. It wasn't only Italians. We had Poles, we had Russians, Jews. It's a matter of fact. You want to know something? It wasn't until these animals came here. Hey, yo, 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 Sit hold down. up, hold up. No, hold up. Wait a minute, you talking about these killers here? Or you talking about black people in general? Because if you're talking about black people, you need to check yourself before you get more than your feelings hurt, man. What, are you kidding me? Why don't you just go get your Uzi and spray me from across the street? Let me tell you. Both no, 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 no. Come on. What? Sit you down. tell me yeah. what? Yeah, yeah, hold yeah. up. No, no. I'll tell you about my Uzi, man. I don't own an Uzi. See, I don't know anybody that does own an Uzi. And I've never seen a black man in the hood making an Uzi, you got that? Black people don't make guns, and black people don't grow cocaine. So how does this rock get here? And how do these guns get here? And how come the jobs and the schools don't ever get here? See, if you wasn't so busy living in Lily White Plains and driving your station wagon to work, you'd see what I see. Millions of black people going to work every day and trying to make it, just like the Jews and just like the Italians. And those are the people I work for. And not one of them, not one of them owns an Uzi. I drive a two-door, I live in Queens. You're really going across that desk after Tomasino, huh? Nah, man, I got more control than that. No, you were great, man. <laughs> I never heard you talk like that. You really put it to him. Me, I get all riled up. I never know what to say. You may not know what to say, but you know what time it is, man. Huh? I know. You know. What you said was solid, though, man. Vic Tomasino doesn't see these people. Uh, he looks at a kid like Mikey. All he sees is trouble coming. Trouble for him and his. But damn, man, is that all that's ever gonna be? Well, them and theirs, us and ours, shouting at each other across the street, across the desk. Take it easy, partner. It could be worse. It could be shooting each other. No, yeah, it's still pretty damn pathetic. All right, look, look, hold up. We're both in a bad mood, I'll tell you what. Let's go for a drink, and I'll pay for the drink. No, man, I'm tired, maybe tomorrow. This is me. All right, partner. That's you. All right. 
Now is the time. Hey! that symbolizes is that people in New York don't want to deal with a dying cop with a big melon head. And should anything happen to you, you should leave your partner your extensive record collection. <laughs> We're gonna have the same dream, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Not, not exactly, but the, um, the part about dying and being alone. So, we make a promise, huh? If something happens, I won't leave you, you won't leave me. You ride with to emergency, stick around, stay right there. And if that's the end, stand on her guard at the funeral? You bet. Bet. Hey, baby, how much more of this stuff we got to get through? That pile over there, the suitcase, and Luffy's bringing over the Blake spot tape. I never thought I'd get so bored counting money. Where's Cynthia? This show would go a lot faster if she was here to help. Hey, listen, Cynthia ain't got no part of this, right? Why, she's some kind of rosebud or something? Shut up. Let's count it first. Maybe he's just running because he's scared. Nobody rips me off. Give me a shrimp. You're on parole, man. You cannot get caught. Get it out of the safe and give it to me! <laughs> Top floor, you know where your kid is. <sighs> Preference of stairwells? Take this one. Go that one. Okay, watch it. Hello. You better run.
Where's my money, Lupe? Nothing, man. Man, come on, man. Yeah. I ain't do nothing, man. I ain't do nothing, man. Oh, man, come on, man. I'll make it good, man. You done. You done, you bitch mother. I'll do good, man. I'll do whatever. Good. Please. When patrolman Raymond Williamson was shot dead in a dirty brick stairwell in a housing project in Brooklyn, the TV cameras did not come to his funeral. George Bush did not come either. But nobody missed them. Danny Riley says every cop is Irish on the day of his funeral. He banged the drum slowly. He played the pipes for him. For Ray Williamson, not for anybody else. I felt bad that day. He was a good cop, but the last time I saw him, we were this close to trading punches. What do I say to his people, to his partner? Word was the brass didn't want Robert Dayton and his partner's honor guard. They were afraid he'd collapse, be an embarrassment. But he did it, straight up. He kept his promise. Hey, Riley. I, uh, hey, you guys caught this case. We're close to picking up that kid Thank you saw on the stairs. We'll get the shooter. That's the thing about funerals. They're a major marketplace for promises. That's right. I talked to him last night. He's down in a... Damn it, bitch. I don't want to know where he is. Just keep your mouth shut on that, all right? Stupidest thing I ever heard of, shooting a cop. He had to, Prince. The gun in his hand means six years inside. He was on parole. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say for him not to? Here. He told me it over the phone. A list of people he wants smoked. Damn. You, uh, you didn't say anything about this to Raheem, did you? Just to say you were in charge while he's gone. That's right. That's the way he left it to me. Well, you know where I'm at. It's none of your business, bitch. You saved that bitch talk for the whores like that gold driven huzzy in the street just now. You talk to me like that, you won't be talking to me at all. Mr. Carl H. Franklin. You call me Prince, all right? Trash gave you that name. John Butler gave you that name. No, I had that name for years, OK? Besides, Justice never done nothing to you for you to call him trash. Damn it, Cynthia, can't you see that he's the one to give me something to do when I couldn't find no work? Something to do like selling crack? No, nah, I never sold any... 
Don't lie to me. Don't you think I know what's been going on? You think I believe you every time you say you won the lottery or hit a number? Oh, okay, so you didn't believe me, huh? No. You never had no problem taking the money, though, did you? Never had no problem living good, eating good, and partying all the time, did you? Never had no problem dreaming about all these big houses, did you? Listen, okay? I never sold any type of crack, baby. I did not sell one vial of crack. I'm a manager, okay? I fix things up. I buy cars, cement, weldings. I fix up buildings, okay? You fix buildings so Justice Butler can sell crack out of them. Yes. Okay? Yes, that is what I do. Something happened, though, didn't it? What do you mean? This past week, you've been different. Nervous. Something's got you spooked. You're the one who's spooked. I am not the one running in out all hours of the night. I'm not the one getting the secret papers from the sluts in the street. And I am not the one with the nine millimeter hidden in an old boot in the back of the closet. With two clips in the other. That's not you, baby. That's not you. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. I don't know nothing. Let me tell you something, Goofy. You came in here, punk, with a pretty face and a lot of information. And I'm telling you, you can't leave with both. Okay? So I want you to think about this real hard because this may be the most important moment of your life. We're not leaving this little room until you figure out what you want to do with the rest of your life. Go blind, McGarry. I ain't giving up nothing. Okay, so the cops part to put you on the north stairwell just before the shooting. Yeah, I was running up the stairs, so. So what we doing running up the stairs? Hey, I like to keep in shape. Oh, yeah, you know with a nine I mean? millimeter in each hand, what's good for the arms and the shoulders? I didn't have no nines in my hands. What kind of fool question is that? There's a hallway at the top of the stairs which connects the stairwells, okay? Now you cross over and you go to the south stairwell. Only when you get there, there's a cop there. But what do you care? You got your nines out of them. Look, lay down, man! One shot, bang, down an angle. It all fits. You think you can just hang this on me? Like lights on a Christmas tree. What are you afraid of, son? What do you think? Yeah, you're righteous. You're no rat. Uh, normally, that's a good bet, but uh, this is different, see? This could get crazy. And if the word gets out that you know who killed the cop and you didn't tell us, then you just traded one problem for another. What's that mean? The way I figure it, that cop took a bullet that was meant for you. That puts the scales way off balance, and the forces of nature don't like that. Don't try to be a butterfly in a hurricane. You could get blown away. OK, our boy Loopy says John Henry Butler, AKA Justice. Three priors, assault, armed robbery, and possession with intent. This is our shooter. Yes, sir. Seems that uh, Mr. Butler has uh, gone big time in the crack business, right under our noses. As a matter of fact, he must be pulling in about uh, twenty-five to forty thousand dollars a day at some spots. If you're working Raymond's case, I'd like to sit in. This is a homicide case, Dayton. Detective work. I know I can help. I'm sure you can, kid. But under the circumstances, I just can't allow it. I'm sorry. Mahoney and Lee, I want you to check with narcotics, see if they're running an investigation on this Mr. Butler and his gang. Maybe we could bring down his whole operation at once. How good is the make, Danny? Witness is positive on Butler. He's scared. Of who? Of us now, but uh, 
When he has to look Mr. Butler in the eye across the courtroom, I'm not sure. Butler disappeared off the assault charge. The word is he hightailed it south. He's got family in South Carolina. You talk to the guys that work in that case. The Tylersville thing is solid. Tylersville? You got two dozen leads you haven't followed right here in Brooklyn. All bogus. Right. Well, that's the word. Bogus. Gentlemen, there will be no wild goose chases to South Carolina or anywhere else at the expense of my budget. Mm -hmm. Now we get to the real reason, huh, Lieutenant? He'll be back in three weeks. These punks can only eat so much home cooking, you know that. It's more home cooking than Raymond Williamson's likely to get, sir. That's right. Get out! Go on, get out of here before I yank the both of you off this case! Yo, Riley! Hey, Tate, what's going on? Not too much. I'm not getting as much sleep as I should. Coach just cleaned out the last of his locker. Uh, it's rough. So, uh, this is the guy, huh? Any progress? We're working on it. Day and night. Okay. Good luck. about having an old pro like Danny Riley for a partner is he's got pull. He can change a boss's mind. Maybe he knows a bigger boss. Suddenly one day he's got an airline ticket and the next day he's gone. Down there to those tobacco farms, little town squares. And there's space. The air is clean and fresh. Maybe a guy begins to wonder, is this place in New York City even on the same planet? There's always something to remind. The answer is yes. I reckon you can identify these objects. They appear to be vials of crack cocaine, Sheriff Letty. Number one export of the city of New York. And all this time, I thought it was corned beef. I'm glad you think this is humorous. I'm afraid I don't. Not when this crap starts showing up in my junior high schools, I surely do not. I'm sorry. I don't mean to make light of it. I. I just want to point out that the trade works both ways. You sent us one of your homegrowns, John Henry Butler. What's he charged with this time? Don't tell me there's been another muggin in the city of New York. This time he killed a cop.
Susan, see if you can get me Judge Stetner at the lake. I need a warrant. Inside. Here's one. Cecil, you trying to stop us? Says I gotta let you in. Don't tell me where to stand. Get on in. Everybody's a lawyer. Now these boys will get around to searching all the family places. We gotta move him. Man. I got a dozen houses around these parts. I start checking them out. Good. Thanks. You uh, set for a place to stay? Anything you need to know about Tylerville? Yeah. Where would that man go to have a drink? of the barley stout and the wee Nancy for openers. Herbert, the man wants an Irish whiskey and a stout ale. Correct. The man's confused. He thinks he's somewhere else. No, I haven't had whiskey yet. Confusion as to where I am comes after the whiskey. The man wishes he was somewhere else. No. If you've got whiskey, this is where I wish to be. It'll have to be a bourbon and a beer. America tries. Cop. Irish. But not Boston. Philly. Baltimore. Maybe New York. Been around bars all her life. Finally bought one. Runs a little book on the side. Used to run a string of girls till it got too rough. Knows everyone. Hates cops. Till she needs one. Let's hear it. John Henry Butler. Butler? Justice Butler. That family ought to be run out of this county. Every time that boy do something up north, back he come running home, bringing a world of heat with him. The last time he was here, he managed to rape two girls and beat up another. I hope you all catch him and fry him up good. Why did you say that? Fry him. I don't hate cops that much. How much? To kill. Ain't that what he done? Killed a cop? Well, how do you know that? From that fella that's working on the case. That's me. No, that ain't you. You're the wrong cover. He ain't around, Dan. Nobody's seen him. You check this place, no lights, no cars. I'm keeping it quiet here, but uh, you got to find the guy before he steps in it. I got a fax on the way, all right?
What's this, Riley? This is trouble. Yo, friend. Yo, what's up, man? You're going strapped these days. Dangerous world, you know? Yeah. I've seen one. <laughs> yeah, Justice ain't gonna like that. What Justice ain't gonna like is you ignoring his list. <laughs> Bitch told you, huh? Justice wants those names smoked. Yeah, well, I say no. Loopy in jail, man, talking about us. We got to send him a message. Yeah, well, look, Loopy ain't nothing but a knucklehead runner. He don't know jack about this operation. So what? So maybe the cops pick us up and they sweat us a little bit. We chill and we're OK. Worst thing we could do is start killing people. Worst thing we can do is betray our brother. Yeah, well, our brother is OK for now. It's flat out stupid to kill people for no reason, especially folks sitting in beauty parlor chairs. You pork out on me? <laughs> See, the thing about killing innocent people is it's a stone clear message. I am bad. Don't mess with me. It work outside the operation. It also work inside. Prince to me. And uh, what was his job? Took care of business. Found spots, bought cars, just like that, I think. You remember where his house was? I don't know that. Look, he was a boss, I was a runner. I just did my job. I got your call. Is it Butler? Nope. Silver Trans Am, New York plates. Thought we'd give you a shot first. Thanks. Yo. Riley. Look, man, I'll just leave. You never saw me here. And when John Butler here turns up with a bullet in his brain, what do I do then? You celebrate. Yeah, I probably would. But I can't let this go down, Robert. Besides, the locals know you're down here. You could scam them. Yeah, I probably could, but how do I scam myself? I ain't leaving this job with this taste in my mouth. I don't believe you. You want to let Raymond's killer go free because... He ain't going to go because free. Because smoking them might leave a bad taste in your mouth? I'm going to nail him. I know my job. I know mine. Yeah, it, it's the same job. Hey, we took the same oath. We swore to uphold the same laws. If, if we can't get over this crap, what's the line between us and them? I'll give you the lecture if that's what it takes. I thought we'd be beyond that. Maybe not. You sleeping any better? No, I don't think I'm sleeping at all. He was the best man. You should have seen him walking those streets, knocking on doors, talking to the kids. He was the hope. And we killed him. Robert. Brooklyn killed him. Crack killed him. Shot him like a dog, because we don't know what anything's worth anymore. And I include myself. I'm sitting here in this bar and I'm 
thinking your partner was right. Well, it's not just Brooklyn. This whole damn planet full of animals. No, no, no. You, what Big said wasn't right. You know, the trouble with Big is he's getting his heart broken one little crack at a time. It's better you get it all at once, you know? Like a sledgehammer. Right here. And you know something, kid? We're lucky. Lucky? It's better to get your heart broken all at once and early. Because it heals. You come out better. You know, your partner was right, what he said to Vic that day. The people that are trying to make a life in that place, those are the people I'm working for. So is Vic, only he don't know it. So are you. <laughs> yeah. That's the job, Robert. Don't worry about the planet. Go home. Do the job. Riley, we got a tip. See garbage, they get so darn homesick. <laughs> We've been here all right. Look at this. All New York numbers. And what's this? Uh, what area code is 301? 301, that's Baltimore. Baltimore? Butler family in Baltimore, too. So where's this partner of yours? His flight got delayed from Carolina. He said to get started without him. All right, let's go. Lady, please listen. I, I just need you to stick with me, OK? What I need to know from you is whether or not you can identify this man as John Henry Butler. Huh? <clears throat> what is his relation to you? He's my sister's boy. You break anything in there, it's your paycheck, you hear me? Uh, did he call you uh, from South Carolina? Oh, Cecil called and said how y'all was down there still chasing around after Johnny. Can't seem to leave that boy alone, can you? That boy killed a cop. Oh, I'll bet you white cops are always hassling young blacks. Cop was black. His weapon was still in his holster. He's an innocent victim. Nobody's innocent. Hey, detective. Yeah? There's just a kid back there. That is my grandson, Will. He left New York before any of this happened. He don't know nothing about this. Nobody's innocent. You white cops think you can come in here and treat us like we were something you scraped up off the bottom of your shoe. How you doing? Knicks fan, eh? Yeah. Me too. So, uh, 
How long has it been since you lived here? Moved south to Grandma two years ago. How come? Escape. Grandma's got that rap down pretty good, huh? What's that? I'm a victim. Everybody against me. She may have a point. Yeah, but you're tired of hearing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so am I. That's why I stopped. Stopped what? Stop being a victim. Letting them fools run my life put me in a place I had no way out of. You know Butler? Hell yeah. Used to get high with Justice when we was junk. Were your crew? Hung is all. Never sold no dish. He still calls you, right? Sure. He calls. If the man needs something, like someone to meet him at the airport, like some place to hide. When? Last night. Call from the airplane, already on his way here, he says. What did you tell him? I told him to keep going. Told him I don't need his heat. I got something going here now. I'm back in school. I got a life. You know what I'm saying? Escape. Yeah. Of course, Justice don't want to hear that. Says I got to find him a place. So there was this girl he used to date. Moved to Philly, yeah. I knew a number. Give it to him. Did he go to Philly? Didn't come here. That's all I know. Will you give me the number? Yeah, sure. Will you make a call? Escape. For some reason, the way he said that word stayed with me. By the time I picked up Danny and we were on our way to Philadelphia for what we hoped would be the arrest of Justice Butler, we'd both been up about three days running. But you know what cops are like. All we need to keep going is for life to put away the stick and give us a little peek of the cabin. Damn, airline. What's happening? Justice, you there? Yeah, no thanks to you. Hey, man, you gotta understand. I mean, my grandmother and all. What's that, our man? Philly PD's got an address and a bunch of SWATs waiting for us. You know, I'd do this job another 20 years if they'd let me. Justice? Yo, brother. You've been dragging your feet on some serious business. Well, hey, you know, man, I'm just playing smart, all right? I mean, no need to make any heat when we've got enough already, right? There's only a few people that can hang me. Brother Loopy, Wanda, and you. Hey, man, now wait. Now, you know that I would never. Well, how am I supposed to know? Where's the sign that shows me you're still loyal? You do the work, or the work does you. That's the code we live by, Prince. That's the choice you've got. So this kid, Will, how'd you flip him? I didn't have to flip him. He wanted help. Said he was sick and tired of putting up with animals like Butler. You use that word a lot. What word? 
animals. So? Hey, if a guy's an animal, call him. It's just like everybody's an animal to you these days. Wait a minute, Danny, what? What are you saying? I use the word too much or what? Yeah. What? Come on, tell me. You brought it up. There's got to be a few human beings out there, don't you think? Hmm. Yeah. You gotta get out of here right now. Come on, get some stuff back. Why? Yeah, I can't say right now. You can go to your uncle's. Come on. In Cleveland? The further the better. Please, let's hurry up. No, wait a minute. You are in trouble. I'm not gonna leave you. Come on, just once, please. Just this once will you do what I ask. Please. Take him in. Some you don't see every day. What? A 
couple of New York detectives who have much faith in the courts. Department of Wanda Pearson counting money just prior to the death of Officer Williamson. Why don't you ask Wanda that? You know why. Exactly. That's my reason, too. And listen, I'm not going to testify against them without some type of arrangement. We don't make deals. No. But he does. I can give you just a solid for the cop shooting, plus beauty magic. I can give you a half a dozen shootings you don't know anything about. I can give you the whole crack operation. Runners, steers, and bosses. Yeah? And what do we give you? I know one thing. I ain't doing no time. That's the deal. Nothing. Hey, come on now, Timmy. Hey, you can't be seriously thinking about letting this animal... I'm not charging this suspect. Of course not, Vic. It's gonna have to do some time. He'll realize that sooner or later. I just hope it's sooner. Because our case is basically down to the testimony of Mr. Loopy. Not exactly the status mast on the ship estate. I heard a single shot. I ran to the other stairwell. And there was Raymond. Officer Williams. Shot through the neck. And your partner later died of this wound, did he not? Yeah, he did. I watched him die. Thank you, officer. Your witness. Officer Dayton, you did not see with your own eyes, who shot your partner, did you? No. I'm oh, sorry, Officer Dayton, I can't hear no. you. No. Nothing further, Your Honor. Answer the question, please. Who was chasing you? Was it the defendant, John Butler? Yeah. It was just John Butler was chasing me. The cops told me say it was him. John Henry didn't kill nobody. Now that's the truth. That's the truth. I'm gonna get out of here, baby. I just gotta get my deal to saw. You sure you're doing the right thing? Yeah. I want you out of here so bad. I don't know what you think you're gonna say that we haven't. I don't know. But Raymond was my partner. And from what the DA was saying, the guy who killed him is gonna walk if Franklin doesn't testify. I got to try. Listen, Rob, we understand that you got to try. As a matter of fact, we want to see you get your shot at it. Just don't get your hopes up, okay? This Prince character, listen to me. He don't care about you, and he don't care about your partner. He cares about one thing, getting out of this jam. I love you. I love you too, baby. Excuse me, Miss Cynthia Breton. I'm Detective Dan Riley, homicide. My partner and I need to talk to you. You can't do that, man. Hey, I'll get you for It's okay, it's okay. No, it ain't okay. You better bring her back here. Get out of my face, Chuck, all right? Who the hell are you? What you want, man? Here we 
was my partner, Justice Killed. And why don't you say it in court? What's the deal? No deal. You do the right thing. Okay, so I'm supposed to throw away the one card I got left for nothing, huh? You got more than one card. She seems like a real nice girl. They had no right, man. They had no right to take her away like that. Well, you know how they are. She came to see me, okay? She ain't got nothing to do with the crew. She hated justice. I don't think they believe her. Well, I told them. I know they don't believe you. It's not right, man. She didn't do nothing. What did my partner do? You know something, kid? You're lucky. Lucky. I never got a chance to save my partner. He asked me for a gun. I gave him a 9 millimeter Taurus, and he took off after Loopy. A minute later, I heard a shot. Then he came back. Did Mr. Butler say anything when he returned to the money counting apartment? Yeah. He said, I shot a cop. Then he gave me the nine to get rid of. And what happened to that weapon? I kept it. Where is the gun now? It's in that box on your table. matter of the state of New York versus John Henry Butler, the jury informs me it has reached a verdict. Mr. Butler, please rise. Guilty. All counts. <laughs> uh, and House is building a pretty good racketeering case, too. The whole crew is going down. Thanks. All right. All right. Get out of here. Of course, Prince didn't testify solely out of the kindness of his heart. The DA cut him a deal. He'll do time in prison, all of it in protective custody. But that doesn't matter. The point is, we all make deals. We all make promises. Your measure is how many you keep. That was the last case I worked with Danny Riley. He retired the next month. At the retirement party, the boss comes over, all of us feeling pretty good, and he says, so Riley, tell me, what was the best thing you ever saw on the job? A guy sleeping, Danny says. A guy sleeping. 